Juju Smith Schuster, who you have ranked at 20 two is the chiefs wide receiver one in terms of adp it remains to be seen if that is the role that he has we really don't know post tyreek how targets are going to shake out obviously travis kelsey is going to get his but these wide receivers i feel like it could go in any direction juju is going as the wide receiver 27 mvs wide receiver 44 sky Moore 48 do you think that juju deserves to be as far ahead of these other guys as he is right now i personally think so i think that juju Smith Schuster is the most talented wide receiver in the Chiefs uh, wide receiver core. I think that he was kind of plagued by bad quarterback play over the last couple of seasons. And then obviously he dealt with some injuries as well. And I have him as the wide receiver 22 in my rankings. He's going as the wide receiver 27. So I'm five spots ahead of the consensus ADP on Juju. I think what kind of made me rank him there was the situation that he's in. I think that there is a lot of competition, obviously, but I don't think it's a lot of good competition. You know, we've talked about before that MVS kind of just hasn't done anything in the NFL. I know he's the highest paid Chiefs wide receiver. At the end of the day, that won't matter if he can't play. And there's a good fucking chance that MVS just isn't good at football. And he's a one trick pony. The same thing kind of goes with McCole Hardman. You know, we, we, we've we seen McCole Hardman not be a good wide receiver in the league. So really, I think it's Kelsey and Juju as the main two options on, again, one of the best offenses in the NFL with the best quarterback in the NFL in one of the best schemes for pass catchers and I think that Juju is going to absolutely smash this year and I've been drafting Juju all offseason so this shouldn't even be a hot take if uh, people have been in the drafts and, and streams with us so yeah and the other thing about Juju is you know over the past two seasons in Pittsburgh his yards per reception was 8.6 which is just abysmally low and he's sort of gotten pigeonholed by the community into being that kind of receiver but we saw at the beginning of his career that he was not just that guy you know he could make explosive big plays especially 2018 when he had 1400 yards as a sophomore receiver now you know a lot of the times I think we see or I think we don't see players have that type of season and then have three quote-unquote down years and then re-energize and become that player again but really Juju Smith-Schuster is still super young he's 25 years old has been playing with the corpse of Ben Roethlisberger for years and now enters a Kansas City Chiefs offense with the highest upside of any of these players and the potential to separate himself with target shares wide open so I, I think the upside is crazy for Juju and I'm right there with you as far as drafting him goes what's up YouTube just wanted to make sure to tell you guys to subscribe to the channel it helps us out a ton help us reach 400 subscribers with DFS season and the NFL season quickly approaching we are going to be putting out so much content that you're not going to want to miss if you want to make money in this upcoming NFL season with DFS, betting, props, the whole nine. So make sure you subscribe to the channel.